Forbes to Johnston. Back for Alex Forbes. Flicks it in deep, it'll go and chase. There's a big hit on JC Brassard. Two similar sized bodies colliding in the backboards. It's Jeremy Welsh. He's got Levin, the high man. Drops it back off to Welsh. Winds up, drives. Blazes one over the top of the net of Reiner. A couple of big looks for the Nottingham Panthers as Yellowhorn will settle that puck. Drops off to the trailing man. Johnston pulls the trigger. It's blocked on the way through. The blaze on the wraparound. Oh, it went through. The blue paint into the feet of Peyton Frantic. It's back into the feet of Peyton Frantic. And Brady Norris left it behind him, but under no pressure was quite happy just to take a breath, settle things down, and get the blaze into the offensive zone through Yellowhorn. Yellowhorn to the back door. A saucer pass intended for Venus. It was just over the stick of Ross Venus. But we're still going here. Venus with a B in his bonnet. Dropped off by Norrish. Venus to the net front door. Oh, good chance from Yellowhorn. Good save. Point blank from Jones. That bunk dumped in. Oh, it's turned over. Blaze will have another chance. Blaze just wide by Dudek. It was blocked on the way through, I think, by Hazeldine. Coventry swarming around the net of Jones. Still with Dudek. Tries to set himself up. Halbert was hollering for it. Buck ends up in the offensive zone for Nottingham. Blazer trying to shovel it out of the uh, feet of... I think it was Peyton Franti who was trying to free that up, actually. He was going to say the defenseman, but... He's helping back there with Clemens. Turnover. His Hammond in front. Deeks. Good save by Reiner. The crafty Hammond was trying to open up some space. Gagnon's going to shoot just wide of the target. Once that put back, uh, Gagnon, as shot comes in, stopped by Reiner. Franti leans on his man. Panthers still have the puck. Sorensen shooting off the skate of Forbes, and the Blaze will get that out of the zone. Oh, they might get a breakaway with Curran. Somehow he's picked that puck up. He gets slashed for his troubles, but he scores for his troubles some more. And the Coventry Blaze take the lead, and what a weird little play to start this breakaway, Stu. It was almost like a just a soft clearance on the backhand, and Curran had caught his man up high, so he gets absolutely lumberjacked. It doesn't put him off his stride, and he beats Jones down low through the legs. Yeah. Very soft backhand clearance, but it's just out of the reach of Matthew Gagnon, and that gives the speed of Johnny Curran to get in behind the defensive pair. Waits, waits, and waits, and just slips it 5 all underneath Peyton Jones to make it 1-0 to the Coventry Blaze. You've got to think he's a show in for the national team, right? Now he's eligible. Had a pretty good showing in the Euro Challenge. Big hit comes in from Lashinsky on Sorensen. It was a bit of a weird collision. Now the Panthers have a chance. Levin all on his own in front. They score! Welsh got his stick free. Levin put it right in his wheelhouse. And oh, what a great experience. Net front play by Welsh. And the Nottingham Panthers answer right back here, Stu. Yeah, Levin just sticks it in front of Reiner. They make Welsh just really just put his stick in the way. Once it's past Reiner, Welsh, all he has to do is just make contact and redirect it. Yeah, and, you know, when the body starts to slow down a little bit, you know, Colton's in his mid-30s, now that, that happens. It's a fact of life. Those things like your hand-eye coordination, you know, the things where you could just make little hockey plays like that, like face-offs, um, they stick with you. Uh, and, you know, he's got such a high percentage, I can see why it's Halbert's going to walk in and they're going to score! Mitch Cook on the redirection. Jones came out of his net all kinds of aggressively. And Mitch Cook creeped in from behind the goal line, offered his stick up for uh, the pass from Halbert, and they execute, and the, uh, the Coventry Blaze do have got their lead right back. It's a great spot from Halbert. He sees there that Mitch Cook is coming there. He sees that Jones is very aggressive at the top of his crease. It's a hard pass, again, so that all that Cook has to do is just get his stick on the ice and redirect it towards the goal. Yeah, Jakub Izaski. Uh, another mid-season uh, signing for the Panthers. Four goals and a couple of assists to his name coming into tonight's game. As Clemens will shoot from the point, they score! Right off the face, off the Coventry plays. The third of the night. David Clements through a little bit of traffic. It might have taken a piece of a defenseman on the way through. Let's take a look again. Winds up drives. Oh, I think that comes off Anderson that puts it upstairs. And if you look at this one more time on the replay, I don't think Peyton Jones is quite set when this puck drops. He's 
caught by surprise, and that's the kind of uh, nightmare scenario for a netminder. You've not quite got into the zone. You have one thrown at you through traffic from the point. It takes a redirection, and uh, you got a feel for the goalie on that one. Long stretch pass of the backhand of Levin. Spins off the wall, throws one to the net. Levin off the stick of Welsh, who I don't think he quite realized where he was orientated and where that puck was, Welsh. If he could have quickly snapped one off there, Ryan would have had to have done something. Now the play's going to come up ice. Here's Johnson trying to make the netminder Jones do something, but it's Alex Forbes who's having to peel away and make a smart defensive play. Quince out of the air. He finds Johnston. Johnston, one-timer, Billings, he scores on a one-timer. And a beauty from Billings. And the Blaze have been looking for that combination. Garrett Johnston down the slot, having a winger peel off. He puts it right in the wheelhouse of Billings, who calls for it, and calls it under the crossbar. And the Blaze are 4-1 to the good here, Stu. Really well worked play from the Coventry Blaze. Just a little bit of patience there. Johnston gets it, flicks it back, and like you say, right on the stick of Jack Billings on the one-timer. Peyton Jones has to move quickly. He can't move quickly enough to cover that laterally. And Billings finds the back of the net. Yeah, face off to the uh, Hungarian netminders left. Contracted uh, next season in uh, UTE, where the Blaze have loaned his services from. A uh, situation I think benefits both teams in terms of him being able to spend a little bit of time here in the UK. Is Levin, tries to feed one to the back door. It's out the skates of the defenseman. Reiner has to make a couple of saves. It's still there, and they score with Levin. A scramble in and around the net front of Reiner. The puck falls to David Levin, and he's able to find a little bit of daylight between, you know, not just between uh, the pads of Reiner, but between the, the sea of bodies in front of him too. I think Quince has just come across the eyes of uh, the netminder as well, right at the last second, and well, the Panthers cut that lead down to two. Inside the last five of the second period we go. Brassard. Give and go to the net from Brassard. He pokes one on right and makes a second save. The netminders. Well, the Blazers were caught trying to track that puck and well, until they figured it out, Miklos Reiner had made a pair of saves. And vital saves too on Brassard. And that was a, a really pretty give and go from the defenseman. Very pretty give and go from the defenseman and Reiner standing tall there, making some big saves to keep this game at a two goal lead for Coventry. Yeah, the second Coventry able to get this into the neutral zone. Mitch Cook's going to chase Kelly Summers down. Nice play from Summers to keep Cook away from him. That puck's picked off by J.D. Dudek out of the passing lane. A little shovel to Cook. Cook has a real big opportunity. Pad save. Rebound out for Dudek. It's blocked on the way through off the shorts of Summers. Big rebound for the Coventry base to try and deal with. Now here's Clements. He shoots off a body. Mitch Cook has one tonight, very nearly had a second. J.D. Dudek has been in the hunt tonight, nearly had a goal to his tally. Commentary sending bodies north, including Franti. Uses that long reach to get away from Brassard. Lovely play from Franti and a good save from Jones. A little stop and go from Peyton Franti, pulled the trigger. Nice stop by the goalie. Franti back in, he shoots again, this time wide blocker side. Franti looking to add another one tonight for the Blaze. Here's Quint, ahead of Talberg. Talberg somehow pulls that in. Kim Talberg, nice hands from the Swede. On the back door, it's a blocked shot off Quint, who had a real good opportunity. Talberg's stick explodes. That was a big opportunity, and you know, Marley Quint just had that lumber taken away by a Panther. Otherwise, I think that probably could have been game. 13 minutes to go in this one. 4-2 to two in favor of Coventry. Izaski. Brings it up ice. Lovely hands from Jakub Izaski. Gets poke checked by Lashinsky. A penalty on the play. Well, I thought Lashinsky got a, a pretty clear poke check on this one. Let's have a look again. Tripping's going to be the call. Yeah, we. And he's going to the box town, Lashinsky. Izaski comes across. And uh, Lashinsky gets, wins the puck fairly. He gets the puck there. But it, these skates collide with each other. And. Uh, is Levin. Oh, Levin's got through here, he shoots, he scores! A trickler through the five hole of Reiner, who I think went for the poke check. And Levin's second of the night 
gets to double figures for the year. Let's have a look at this again. A big goal for the Panthers. He, it's a nice move around the defenseman. Ryder goes to the poke check. He sees the daylight, slips it there, and the Nottingham Panthers are within one. A really good play from Levin. Just gets that stick handling through the middle. As soon as he sees that Ryder's going for the poke check, he very quickly gets it on his forehand and jabs. Goes to the five hole, gets it past the stick and the net miner to get this game 4-3 to Coventry. Second goal of the night for David Levin. Second power play goal of the night for David Levin. Also picked up an assist on the Jeremy Welsh goal. A, a nice uh, offensive night for him. Chance for Johnny Curran on the slip. And they score! The Blaze answer right back! of a panther that slipped in the corner. As you look at this again, a trip from Summers. In comes Curran. He tries to feed the back door. I think it comes off the stick of the man in front. Through the legs of Jones. And Coventry's two-goal lead is restored just like that. Just like that. Curran comes in. And it looks like it comes off JC Brassard and goes five-hole on Peyton Jones. Really unlucky for the Nottingham Panthers. But exactly the response that the Coventry Blaze would have wanted. Somehow Kim Talberg's picked that puck up. He's going to advance into the offensive zone with it as well. He's got Francia support to the back door. It was a really nice bit of vision from Jones as Johnny Curran, his eyes lit up for the hat trick. But it wasn't to be as the netminder came out to poke it away. Now here come the Coventry Blaze. Approaching the halfway mark of the third period. Mitch Cook's got some speed across the line. Shoots. Stopped by Jones. There's a rebound. He gets the stick on it. Followed by the glove. And he hangs on for the whistle as Tyler Kirkup gets to know Matthew Gagnon. Clears the uh, net front pretty well. Uh, Matthew Gagnon as, as well as anyone in the league. I think the Blaze have been pretty good from top to bottom tonight, to be honest with you. Against a, a Nottingham side that, you know, are coming into this game after... Feeling a little bit happy with themselves. That's a big 8-5 win. That's a lot of goals that they've scored. Um, that kind of monkey off their, is off their back a little bit in terms of, you know, low goal tallies. Is that shot's in! Right there! A prime example. A broken play, a loose puck, and a monstrous finish. And we're back at a one-goal hockey game, Stu. As we look at this one again. A little bit of a broken play. The puck comes off his Sasky. And it's tucked under the crossbar by Matthew Myers. And that's a real captain's contribution in this hockey game. Comes around the boards. Picked up by Norris. Looking at the long stretch pass. He was looking up ice. Didn't take the puck with him. Much to the uh, amusement of his former fans in the Nottingham Panthers. They were fans of that, for sure. And here's Franti. Oh, out in front. Venus and a big save from Jones. That was the biggest save of the night, frankly. If Venus gets that... That's a, mo uh, just a, a monstrously big goal for Coventry. Here's Kelsey now. David Clements. But his 400th game for the Coventry Blaze not so long ago. Good servant of this hockey club, Clements. Always oh, as a loose puck taken away off Peyton Franti by Hammond. Chance for the Panthers. Shot blocked off Lashinsky from Brady. Here's Adam Brady, though. As Nottingham still have the puck. To the point, Gagnon keeps it alive, shoots, it's a trickler that comes off the skate of the defenseman. Nice job from Brady Norris, who scoops out the length. Oh, Venus might collect it. He has. Venus, he scores. Oh, my word, Ross Venus. What a big goal for the Blaze. And it is a firefight in Coventry, Stu. Brilliant looping pass from Brady Norris. Venus gets behind the defence. They're looking for offside there, but it's not offside. Ross Venus has got his position there, and he goes one-on-one -on, -one on Peyton Jones, controls that puck. Brilliant to settle it down so well and just slips it underneath Jones. Look on the backboards. Still there for the Panthers. Hammond into the corner. Looks at Summers, back for Hammond. There's a melee going on in front of the net, picked up by the Nottingham Panthers. Off the pad of Reiner, there's a big mad scramble. Coventry picked it up. Here's Forbes, he's got to look at the empty net, he scores! Alex Forbes seals the deal for the Blaze. His second goal of the year, and our one to watch tonight, frankly, for all the hard work and 
the fact that Danny Stewart trusts the game of Forza, he's reliable, he's not going to give up anything silly, he's going to be where he needs to be, that shows what Alex Forbes means to this club and he's rewarded with the empty net.